Hi everybody. Welcome to Vijasa Foundation. My name is Manoj Swaminathan and today we are going to learn about a very interesting topic and that is about the triage process in pharmacovigilance. So let's get started. So what is the origin of the word triage? The word triage has originated from the term trier which is a French terminology that means separate out. How to define triage? It is the action of sorting items according to quality. Okay, so it's primarily about sorting out or prioritizing something. Okay, so that is triage. Now, we'll learn about the utility in medicine, right? Or I would rather say healthcare. The utility of the term triage in that in healthcare. So imagine that you are working in a hospital and there is an ambulance which brings in a patient. Now you have this patient but then you need to find out whether the patient needs some particular treatment or not. So this is how you would uh, triage the patient, right? You do color coding. If it is say something very emergency kind of thing, then red little less orange little more or less than yellow and if it is not urgent then it will be green so this is the way you prioritize right so what kind of treatment has to be given to the patient now let me explain this further with a real life or covid 19 example so this is something which happened in one of the countries and you might have learnt about this from the media where uh, you had two ICU beds, okay, and only two beds where you would be able to supply oxygen to the patient and you have three patients. Now, which of these patients will get the ICU bed, right? So, this is a classic example of triage where you have three patients. The first one is a 28-year-old female who is pregnant and has an SpO2 of 89. Other second is the 76-year-old female a cancer survivor and SpO2 of 88 and the third is a 36 year old male diabetic and SpO2 of 90. Now what do you think which of the two patients would get the two ICU beds right can you imagine and it's quite easy to understand right so it will be the first patient who is 28 year old female and the second is a 36 year old male and the one who is 76 year old female she is old and a cancer survivor as well. So she will get the least priority for the bed. Unfortunate, but this is how things happen during the COVID scenario. So how do you define triage? It is the assignment of degrees of urgency to wounds or illness. To decide the order of treatment of many patients or casualties. You have too many patients and you need to identify or define who will receive what treatment. So that is the concept in the medical field or the healthcare field. So that is the medical triage. And in some hospitals you also have something called as triage nurses. So these are the people who, will, who would identify that which patient will get what treatment and the kind of priority. Now let us not forget that we are learning about the triage process in pharmacovigilance. The same principle even applies over here where we are also talking about the priority. Okay. Now, let us first talk about the first scenario which is about booking in of a case report. Now, you have an adverse event report and you log it into the safety database. So, when you log it, you would need to then prioritize it. Right. So, first of all, you need to check whether it is a valid case report so if you don't have, say, the patient identifier, then you would go for follow-up. Assume that you have all the information. Now what you would do? You would try to understand whether the adverse event is serious or non-serious. And if it is serious, then yes, it has greater priority. And by chance, if you are also able to do the labeling, so if it is unlabeled, then the highest priority labeled will be the next. Then non-serious labeled will be next. And no, uh, sorry, non-serious, unlabeled will be the next. 
and last will be non serious labeled so this is the way you would uh, categorize or uh, prioritize the uh, valid case reports okay and ultimately you would log it into the safety database so triage when you talk about triage in pharmacovigilance some people also regard it as booking in or book in something similar even happens in medical information where you have a medical information database and you need to book in the medical query into the database so first you will check whether it is a medical inquiry if yes then you try to triage it as a product quality complaint a medical query or an adverse event at times it can be a combination adverse event come product quality complaint adverse event come medical query sometimes it can be product quality complaint and medical query or sometimes it can be all the three uh, a classic example is somebody says that the product is not effective for me and uh, have you seen this with other patients a classical case where it is a product complaint medical inquiry and even an adverse event so this can also happen right medical information is not directly pharmacovigilance but good to know right so in short pharmacovigilance triage process is all about prioritization that if an adverse event is an is a serious adverse event if it is a suspected unexpected serious adverse reaction whether it has to be reported within 7 calendar days 15 calendar days 90 calendar days the seriousness criteria is it serious or is it non serious and all before all of these whether it is a valid case report so it's all about triage okay so uh, in most of the companies you have physicians doing the triage activity so that they can do everything they can even do the labeling they can even do the seriousness assessment and then categorize in terms of the priority right so that is also a possibility so what did we learn today we learned about the triage process in pharmacovigilance so it is all about prioritization right so if an adverse event is serious unexpected it gets the highest priority and if it is non serious expected it gets the lowest priority and in the triage process you consider all the factors like day zero the four minimum criteria that is for validity and so on right so this is how the triage process works feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions comments or any suggestions thank you